there. My name is Michelle and I work at Rare. Today we're going to do a little experiment to learn more about wetlands. Now what's a wetland you ask? Well a wetland is halfway between a land ecosystem and a water ecosystem. Wetlands have standing water for some or all of the year and there are lots of different types of wetlands including bogs, fens, swamps, or marshes. Wetlands are a great place for wildlife, for plants, and for humans as well. Our experiment today is going to help us learn a little bit more about the benefits of wetlands. For this experiment, you will need an empty two liter pop bottle, a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife, a marker, some paper, a large absorbent sponge, a large pan, some clean water, and some dirty water. You can use a bit of dirt from your backyard or a nearby park to make the dirty water. Cut your paper into several smaller pieces. First, we want to cut the top off of the pot bottle about a third of the way down from the lid. You may need an adult's help with this part. We can set the top half into the bottom half of the bottle to make a funnel and a catching basin. Just don't forget to take off the lid of your bottle. Next, we need to cut our sponge to fit into the top of the bottle. Use your marker to trace around the bottle so you know what size to cut. You want the sponge to fit snugly into the bottle and not be too loose. Remember, it's easier to cut more off than to put them back on. Now we're ready to start our experiment. This sponge represents the world's smallest wetland. Wetlands have a great ability to store water. For our first experiment, we are going to pour the clean water onto our wetland. How long do you think it'll take before water starts coming out the bottom? Let's try it. It takes a while before water starts coming out the bottom. Next, wring out your sponge and see how much water is inside. are great at storing water. This means that in years with a lot of rainfall, they can help to store extra water and prevent the surrounding areas from flooding. Likewise, in years with very little rainfall, they can help release some of that water back to the surrounding environment to help prevent drought. Next, let's see what happens when we pour dirty water into our wetland. Make a prediction about what you think will happen. Will the water coming out the bottom be dirtier, cleaner, or the same? Let's try it out. The water coming out the bottom of the wetland is cleaner than the water that went into it. This is because wetlands are great at filtering water. They help to remove contaminants from our ecosystem and make the water safer for people and animals. Finally, we're going to see what happens when we pave over our wetland. Take your small pieces of paper and place them on top of your wetland. Each paper represents a different development that was built on our wetland. One might be a parking lot, one might be a big box store, or an apartment building. Make sure the papers cover your entire wetland. What do you think will happen when we pour water on our wetland now? 
Let's find out. As you can see, our wetland has flooded. When we pave over our wetlands, they're no longer able to act as a sponge to store and filter water. That's why it's so important that we protect wetland ecosystems. There are many types of wetlands at Rare, like this swamp. Check them out on your next visit. I hope you enjoyed learning about wetlands. See you next time.